character and it's just so fun to decorate. Um, I moved from somewhere that was very modern and this is completely opposite. It's got like, I mean hundreds of people have lived here, cooked, you know, raised their children. This building was built for young women who got pregnant young and needed a place to escape. So my closet is humongous because it was actually a nursery. It's pretty cool. My favorite part of the hutch is that I toned down the colors. I decided that I was gonna go with black, gold, and white. Super simple, maybe a touch of pink, but probably not. You may find a hutch at a garage sale, you might find it at a vintage shop. I don't feel like they make a ton of hutches nowadays because things are very modern, but this is just old school. There's actually a trundle bed in the bottom. So it's pretty, it's pretty funky, and I definitely dressed it up, spiced it up, put a little gold accent, and I'm really excited about it. I even went so far as to get booze. Someone honked right as I said booze. Like, I'm like sweating. It's so hot. When I turn off my fans, so you can hear me. So many problems. Number one is go for things that are personal, mean something to you, and are not just for just stupid. I definitely didn't want to add anything that wasn't meaningful. Um, served a purpose and added to the collection. Super retro, very vintage, very cute. I don't know if you remember Sex in the City, but Carrie Bradshaw was always like, right before you leave the door, take something off. Like, take off a bracelet, take something off, because you've probably overdone it, you just need to take something. And that's the same thing I did with this. Like, I had everything done, and I was like, it just seems a little too full. So I took a few things off, and boom, it looks great. <laughs> 